Welcome everyone. I'm Robin Aisha Lamsong. My name is Aisha Monique Castillo. And we are going to do a practice of embodiment and singing medicine. And so we're going to move through the body and I'm also going to be adding singing medicine. And so it'll just be this really rich experience of coming home to this beautiful place that we live in so we can deepen our capacity to say yes to what we want to say yes to in our lives, our purpose, our belonging, our cherishing what we've been given. You want to add more? Um, this practice is a way to feel more in our power. Embodiment practices are what en enliven us. And so we'll be using this um, meditation guide as a means for honoring this container that tends to hold a lot. And by holding a lot, it gets challenging to let medicine come in. So we're going to break up some of that tension, that rigidity, those old limiting beliefs, so that the medicine can permeate even deeper into every cell, so our cells feel unconditionally loved by ourselves. So we're going to begin just taking a breath. Take an inhale through your nose, and then exhale it out. Nice. Doing that one more time, filling up from the soles of the feet all the way up to the top of the head, and then exhaling all the way back down the bottom. So nice. Thank you all for joining us here today. We're going to begin with our two feet. So you can rock a little bit side to side and just transfer the weight from left to right. And the feet are considered the portals to the earth. And I love this visualization because I see them opening up. So notice if your feet are scrunched, if your toes are cramped, spread them out. Take up more real estate with your feet and feel that connection to the earth below you, understanding that we are always supported. Whenever we start to feel too disconnected or up into our heads, come back to the feet. And we'll do a little bounce here so you can tap the heels, tap the heels, tap the heels, yeah. Breaking up any scar tissue, adhesions that might be sticking in the bottom of the feet. Nice, creating those vibrations to break it up, break it up, break it up. And then lift, lift the heels and come to the tippy toes, tippy toes, yeah. And then kind of massage the toes into the ground. Use the earth as your massage tool, right? So all up in those toes, we've got the sinuses. So as you're massaging, breathe, breathe into your sinuses. Yes, open up the sinus cavity give it all of our attention because this is what's happening right now. This is the most important moment in your life. How cool is that? Take one more breath here. And keep your awareness, your connection to your feet as the medicine starts to come in. Thank you. You can thank the medicine as it comes in. 
Thank yourself for showing up and allowing. The allowing is what we're practicing getting really good at. So allow. Get into the little nooks and crannies, right? It's kind of perfect how your fingertips can find little parts, tendons, little caves that need a little attention. Beautiful, yeah, you can take some juicy circles if that feels good in the knees. Amazing gifts. They are the bridge between the earth below, the earth energy below, and the cosmic energy above. They are what allow us to get low and connect to the earth as well as to rise. If we didn't have these knees, we would just be walking around super stiff legged. <laughs> So remember to soften, soften them, and allow the left foot to step forward and the right foot back and lean the weight into the left foot and feel the left knee and then back. Leading with the left, we get to open into our spiritual purpose, our intention. And feeling that connection to these beautiful knees, to the bridge, right? They help us to create this presence in the world. Feel your presence here. Feel your breath here. These knees also allow for us to take leaps. Leaps of faith, right? I'm just going to move to Shasta. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to move to Shasta. I'm just going to go. Bye. And trust that I will catch myself. You know, it's catching me these knees. These knees, when you jump and you land, you better bend those knees. You better bend those knees. Yes. Beautiful. And let the medicine come into the knees. and we injure the knees from moving too quickly through life. Take your time. Yeah. Let the medicine start to travel as we bring our awareness up the thighs. These big muscles in the front, big muscles in the back, all the way up to the hips. Mm, these hips. We tend to clench our buttocks, and I'm going to ask that you soften that. <clears throat> soften that. A lot of the time, we are tensing our jaw, not realizing that that tension has started from the buttocks. <sighs> They're totally connected. <laughs> soften. Soften. I've heard the hips called the junk drawer of the body. This place where we just stuff down all of the emotions that we don't know what to do with. I don't know what to do with you, so I'm just going to shove you down. It's not the time for me to cry. I'm just going to shove you down. I don't like that feeling. I'm just going to shove it down. The more we hold in our hips, the less room we have for our creativity. This is our creative center. This is where our passion lies. So if we're rigid, holding a lot of baggage in the hips, then how will we find our inspiration? Where will our passion come from? And then we'll tuck the tailbone under and then soften. It's like cat-cows, but standing tuck. And then soften. I love visualizing the bowl. Fill it up and then release it out. Fill it up, and then release it out. Yeah, keep that going. Notice the buttocks. Let them soften as you release. Beautiful. 
hips go to the right, front corner, and then back, and then up to the left, and then back, and then keep that going, and try to smooth it out. It's okay if it feels a little awkward, a little crunchy, if it helps to close your eyes, nobody can see you. Close your eyes. And just be in your body and use your, your third eye or your first eye, which I like to hear it called that, the first eye. To watch your hips move, make space in the hips. And then we're going to slowly take these figure eights in the other direction. If it feels weird, you're doing it right. <laughs> Keep doing it though. So often we back off when things feel uncomfortable or strange and it's like, oh, that's not for me. I'm done. I'm going to ask that you do it enough because it's a practice until it feels like, okay, okay, there's something here. And that's you. That's you here. <laughs> And then stay connected to your knees. Notice what your knees are doing, what your feet are doing, how they're a part of the party. You're still supported by the ground underneath you. Take a breath. taking the medicine from the earth up the soles of the feet, up the legs, the knees, the thighs, the hips, and starting to bring all of my awareness into my solar plexus, into these internal organs. The chakra, manipura, the wheel. I love this one, it really feels like the wheel. As I rub it, I'm gonna rub it clockwise down to the right, up, some would say our original brain when we were little fetuses, a top of the dome piece connected to the gut and then it separates. This feels like my, my gut instinct, my brain. I'm gonna give it a lot of attention here. I'm gonna massage it like I'm helping it process. These organs already know what to do. They're already processing, metabolizing your breakfast, your emotions, your life. But when we come online and we assist, some magic happens when we get to be a part of it. So I'm gonna start down on this right side, this ileocecal valve, it's this little like opening. The food comes up and I'm gonna allow a little massage up. And you can use your fingertips. Some people like to use the heel of their hands or the whole palm. I just like to imagine my fingers are like these little explorers. You know, like, ooh, what's there? What's there? And then maybe you find something and then I would just hang out there and take a breath. Our body likes to be acknowledged for all the work that it does. We are overworked, we are zapped out feeling unmotivated. So we're just creating space, creating some softening, bring your fingertips across the stomach, and you can start to take it down towards this left hip. So similar to the cat cows, but my focus is on hugging in, massaging my organs, and then softening them. And if you want to collapse towards the ground and then come back up and feel that wave, you're welcome to. 
Some nice exhales. Adrenals, those little top hats at the top of the kidneys. Those little guys do so much. Let's get our parasympathetic nervous system turned on so that we can heal. So we can heal. So our immune system gets nice and strong. Yeah. unstruck, unstruck, like at our center of the heart, we are unmoved. We're just perfectly at calm and at peace. That's our natural state. So you can take your fingers and tap as a means for breaking up the walls that get in the way of that natural state. We do a lot of holding around the heart a lot of protecting. Now and throughout your day, if you start to feel that rounding happening, know that that's heavy on your heart. So when you notice that, I'll invite you to pick your heart back up. Lead with your heart, but understanding, right? If I lead too much, if I overgive myself, I will throw my back out. So I want to honor that I have this opportunity to lead into the back side of my heart because my heart is back here too. Mm -hmm. So you don't always have to be just straightforward. Mm -hmm. Bring it back. And I like to imagine the hands of my ancestors along the back of my heart and I lean back into that. So play with coming forward and then leaning back into that. That support system right behind you. And if you ever feel like you're overextending yourself, or perhaps that um, the love isn't reciprocal, will you lean back into that support that's always there behind you in the back of your heart? I believe our ancestors come through the back of the heart. So just pay some attention to that, maybe some shoulder rolls. Yeah. And then you can come back to the top ring if that's nice, because I love the top ring. Beautiful. So many options, right, for what you can do to connect to these parts of your body. Use whatever ones feel good to you. We want our toolbox filled so we can just like be pulling out things all of the time. It's okay to stand in line somewhere and just be here. Just be here. Uh, breaking up any of the walls that you feel starting to come back up. As we let the medicine come into our heart space, stay connected to the heart. And breathe. <laughs>
in moments where that felt so in, mm-hmm. as you're feeling a lot, know that that's normal. We are feelers, we are meant to feel. The invitation though is we don't have to create a story about all of those feelings. We could just allow the breath and movement to move whatever energy needs to be moved through us. That's the invitation here. You can take your hands and start to bring them up to these traps. I like to do the opposite hand to the opposite shoulder because then it almost feels like someone else's massage. (laughs) I love noticing how often we are holding stuff in our bodies, but as soon as someone takes their hand and holds that tension for us, our body's like, oh, thanks. I don't have to hold that anymore. We're going to rake the throat and create some space. This is for all of the times that we held back our truth, that we didn't speak our prayer, honor our voices, We let our fingertips graze the throat to break up any congestion. This is an area that tends to get quite congested from all of the swallowing down of feeling. Am I the only one who tears will start to come up, stuff starting to come, and I'm like, oh wait, this isn't the time. Go back down, go back down, and then Our body is like, oh, okay. I'll hold that for a little bit (laughs) until it just comes out. It's always supposed to come out. We'll do the siege sounds of the throat chakra. Hum. H-A-M. Hum. 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 to massage the top of your head. You're welcome to rake your fingers across the forehead. You're welcome to take your thumbs underneath the brow and make a prayer position and let your head just hang on the hooks of your thumbs. You're welcome to rake down the face towards the jaw letting the bottom teeth separate from the top teeth. You're welcome to take little circles around the temples. I like to take my thumbs and trace the back of the head, the occipital ridge, get the fluid from the brain to the spine opening up those pathways. You have these ears. There are so many pressure points in the ears, so many nerves. Pull down on the lobes. Let the jaw soften and make space through the sinus cavity. Unclenching the buttocks because it's related here related here. Soften your knees and stay connected to the feet, even though we are up in the head. Yeah. Don't worry about messing up your hair. Woo! It's worth it. It's worth it. Take a moment here and tell your mind it can rest. You don't have to work so hard, love. I'll let the heart lead. I'll let the gut make some decisions. 
I'll soften judgments. I'll soften the worry. Let the pathways open up so that they can communicate more, so that one side isn't dominating over the other. And then letting the medicine come in. Understanding that we can use this practice even when we're in conversation with folks. We don't have to be so stiff when we're having deep conversations. Allow yourself to move while you're in those deep conversations. You can stand, you can dance. It's your way of taking care of yourself so you hold less. You're actually engaging more. I think there's a belief that if we're not making eye contact with the person or if we're not like completely still while they're talking, then we're not engaging with them. We're probably checked out here. Soften the knees. Let the body be your guide. And then watch your connections deepen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. when we have that self-connection, that's when we can connect in a meaningful way to others. When we feel authentically home, then we can allow others to also feel at home. Because who doesn't need a more of a sense of belonging, of welcoming? And when we don't abandon ourselves, when we say, I see you, to all the aspects of ourself, all the ages, all the rejected aspects, that's when we can really see others. Mm -hmm. Bring it in. <laughs> Bring it in. <laughs>